Hi guys, welcome to Evil Light Gaming. This is Michael, uh, and this is our uh, second video, well, part two out of two, of the uh, Cons of Tarkir booster box opening. So this is the second half of it. Um, if you haven't already seen the first half, go check it out. Got a few fetch lands in there and uh, some pretty good stuff. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and start opening this one, I suppose. If you didn't watch the first one, then you wouldn't know, but uh, we only got one Mythic, I believe, in the first one, unless I missed something. Um, so hopefully we can get some, you know, two to three more in this one at least, or some fetch lands. I'll always take those. Also, I'm just going to skip these first ones uh, so we can get to the, uh, so we can get to the uncommons and rares. Because, uh, as I explained in the first video, you've probably seen most of these already. So, Burn Away, Opulent Palace, Suspension Field, and Rakshasa's Vizier. Okay. See if I can get rid of these last two. Cranial Archive. Ice Feather Aven. Heart Piercer Bow. And Mardu Ascendancy again. Well, again, being if you watch the first video, I got. Well, okay, that was kind of spoiled, but Foil Mountain, that's pretty cool. Sorry about, uh, sorry about that. Okay. Blinding Spray. Sultai Flare. Ice Feather Aven. And Rakshasa's Death Dealer. Alright, let's do it this way this time. Okay. Slightly better. Okay, Cranial Archive, High Spire Mantis, Soul Tie Charm. I think that's our first charm out of all of them. And another Fetch Land, Wooded Foothills this time. We're loving the green in this video, I suppose. So there's number three of our Fetch Lands. Would love probably, you know, maybe I would think fair would be like one more. Okay. Obzon Battle Priest. Mardu Charm. More charms. Dragon Eyes Savant. And Howl of the Horde. I know most people in these Cons of Tarkir box openings are talking about fetch lands, but, you know, I mean, it's for good reason. Hopefully, uh, you're not tired of hearing it by the time we get to this video, though. <laughs> uh, wow, so our third straight one after me complaining about no charms. Obzon Charm, Monastery Swift Spear, Despise. I like that card, actually. I think it's good. Uh, obviously not as good as Thought Seize, but, you know, it's a step back. And Kiru Spell Snatcher. Looks like we've only got mm, maybe 11 more, I would, if I had to guess. I haven't been counting at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that, it's impressive. Teamer Charm, Obzon Falconer, Tusk Guard Captain, and Jeering Instigator. See, so I complain about the charms and get four straight packs with them. Let's complain about no Sarkon. Let's go one, two. So why can't I get a Sarkon? Stubborn Denial. Mer Merek Nightblade. Seeker of the Way. And Deflecting Palm. 
not quite a Sarkon. One, two. Dazzling Ramparts, <laughs> Obzon Charm, Set Adrift, and Utter End. It's not a mythic, but that is a very good rare in my opinion. Well, I think, once again, in most people's opinion. Especially since, uh, like I said in the last video, I really love playing uh, Esper Control, so it's a great removal, even though I know... Uh, it's probably not the best. Okay. Briber's Purse. Water Whirl. Witness of the Ages. And Dune Blast. Alright, gotta admit, I'm getting a little scared here. We're down to seven left, and we have one Mythic out of all of them. And we got three, uh, three of the fetch lands so far, but could really uh, really use some more mythics to uh, make this box worth it. Arc Lightning, it's a good uncommon. Become Immense, Air of the Wilds, and Speak of the Devil, Ash Cloud Phoenix. Uh, I don't think it's the best mythic, but you know, maybe somebody will be able to use it. Chief of the Scale, Roar of Challenge, Horde Ambusher, and Meandering Tower Shell, and a Hollow Mardu Hollow Foil Mardu Banner. That's not our first Meandering Tower Shell. If you watch one of the previous videos where I uh, I just bought three packs of the. Uh, Cons of Tarkir. Just kind of get a taste before I got this box in. We actually got a uh, foil one there. But you should still check it out. Mardu Heart Piercer. Kiru Bloodsucker. Watcher of the Roost. An Avalanche Tusker. Oh, cool. And a foil Jungle Hollow. But Avalanche Tusker is pretty good. Unfortunately, I just, I don't know. I love control, but I just can't find myself playing those colors. Just can't do it. For now, at least. Valley Debt. Whoa, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Okay. Burn Away. Mystic Monastery. Frontier Bivouac. I, I know it's a big deal about calling it the right thing. I think that's what its name is. And Trail of Mystery and a hollow set adrift. I think this three straight packs where we've had foils. It's not bad. We are down to our last four packs and we have I believe a total of two mythics. It's um not exactly the ratio that I would shoot for. But I guess we are given what we're given. Mardu Charm. Take Up Arms. Sultai Charm. And there's a Mythic Pearl Lake Ancient. One, two. Let's see. Portaling Outburst, Roar of Challenge, Suspension Field, and another Kiru Spell Snatcher. Okay. Dragon Grip. Swarm of blood flies. This guy can get out of control for sure. Monastery Swift Spear and Surak Dragon Claw. All right, so we got four mythics, and I'm wow. Okay, 
we don't have four mythics. We have five, and it's a hollow foil Sidisi brood tyrant, and then Surak. So I, you know, it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, honestly, I think that that right there. I don't know about price wise. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was even. Or I, I, it may be. I may just be overlooking something, but. Um, I'm happy with what I got, actually. I think the only thing that can make it better, one more fetch land. We'll see if we can do it. Brave the Sands. Sand Step Citadel. Windstorm. It's definitely not fetch land, but Crater Claws. All right. So uh, that's not, not horrible. I think, once again, this is probably what saved it towards the end but uh, let me know what you guys think down below and um, let me know if you thought this box was worth it or if you guys are planning on getting one uh, let me know hope you guys enjoyed the video though don't forget to like and subscribe if you can just leave a comment down below if you uh, have any ideas for future videos and keep an eye open because we should be getting a, a fat pack I believe tomorrow as well so uh, just keep an eye open for that. And once again, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good day.